greenhouse, my favorite place, my happy place. And I see, even though we've had a couple of days of really chilly weather here at nighttime, uh, well below freezing, here in the nice warm greenhouse, sunny greenhouse, which is just amazing how the sun will heat an interior. I see that I've got some tomatoes that have finally popped up. These are kind of before I expected. And uh, some other things are popping up. We've got some Romas. Got a couple of those popping up right here, just starting. And we also have some large cherries. And we have a couple of our black zucchinis, which have started to pop up. I've got some flowers popping up, perennials in my perennial baskets. Happy to see that. So it's pretty, it's working pretty well for me here. And I'm always happy when things start to sprout out. I have a couple of extra trays that are for my extras that pop up, like my broccolis here. And I also have some cauliflowers that are popping up. And I see that I got a cucumber here that just started to sprout. So perhaps in the next couple of days when we warm back up here, other things will start to pop up. I just came down to check on things, make sure that the flats are all stay moistened because that's one thing that you definitely want to do is have things stay moistened if they dry out and then you come back and you water them they will not uh, sprout for you that's a lesson learned there so i thought i'd just share a little bit of this this is probably a week now uh, with the greenhouse being pretty much fully planted some things are starting to pop up in the big buckets, which I'm happy to see. Also, so we have the full gamut here. We have broccoli, and we have cauliflower, and we have cucumbers, and we have uh, different varieties of peppers, including Hungarian wax, red Marconis, different colored bells. Uh, we have uh, several different varieties of tomatoes. Romas, um, Siberian Blacks, um, some beefsteak, and I think that might have been it here. I wanted to grow some San Marzano, but the seeds didn't look really uh, good for me. I didn't pick up any extra ones. So anyway, trying to trying to perpetuate those little miracles, get some healthy eating going here for the uh, for the summer and uh, also to mention you know I do a lot of different uh, growing I have traditional gardens I have raised bed gardens I have container gardens and I have picnic table farming gardens also so if you have a chance and you have the opportunity I have a book out there it's recently published Amazon it's in Kindle and hard copy format uh, I think that it's a well worth a review uh, as far as setting up for your own grow stations. I set up permanent grow stations. And uh, from farm to table, for efficiency sake, for uh, efficiency on resources, lack of weeding, uh, grow intensively in a smaller area with maximum yield, I think that's the way to go. Uh, there's some things that you can't grow on the picnic table, but most things you can actually. It's, it's rather unique. All right, well, this is another in Vincenzo's greenhouse here. I thought I'd share that this morning. Since I came down, it was a nice sunny day. I thought I'd better get down here and take a look at things. All right, remember to be kind to one another out there. Help your neighbor if you can. See ya.